everyone, this is Susie from Minnesota in my garden zone 4 and today I am taking cuttings of a lot of things. I am experimenting with some that I've never done before so um, fingers crossed that they work. Right now it's September 9th. Only reason why I'm in a hurry is that they are talking a frost tonight and that is, that's weird. I mean that's, that's part of living in Minnesota but it's just Right now it's a rainy, gloomy day. I'm freezing, it's only in the upper 40s. And so hopefully when you take your cuttings, you're doing it in better circumstances. Me, I'm just getting, doing it to get it done. And unfortunately that kind of takes the fun out of doing cuttings, but it, it has to be done because if I don't do it, then, and we get a frost, I'm gonna lose most my coleus and my salvias. One second, there's a mosquito above me. So yeah, so hopefully when you take your cuttings, it's in um, warmer circumstances. But I am freezing, my hands are numb, and I've been in the rain for the last three hours doing this. So I, this is the easiest way that I can show you because it's hard to go around to my pots and do it and film it with one hand and cut with another. So assume that this is an entire plant in a pot and you're taking your cutting. So what I'm going to do is, where you see, if I can focus, I'm sorry about the view on here, it is very cloudy, we're standing under my umbrella, you can probably hear the rain. But where you see the leaves here joining, I'm just going to cut below it. So, I'm sorry for the shakiness, my hands are so cold. So if you can see that, I'm just going to cut right there. So then what I'm left with is, and this on, is on coleus, my redhead. I have leaves right here. And you want to do it at the leaf nodes where you take your cutting. So, But what I'm going to do now is, I'm trying to do this and stay in view, is cut all the leaves off here. And you can take your fingers and pinch them too, but mine are so cold I've been breaking the stems on a lot. And just keep cutting off as many leaves because there are no roots on this plant right now to support any of these leaves whatsoever, especially these big leaves. So this is what I'm left with. Let me just cut that a little bit more. And then the mix I am using is just a potting mix. It's a very free draining loose soil. The looser the better because right now what you're encouraging are roots to form. So I'm just going to pop it in my container here and all of these containers are recycled containers from year to year when I purchase my plants. And they're in good condition and I keep reusing all of them. I'm just going to put it in the middle. I could put it along the side if I wanted to but right now if this works out these plants are going to stay in these pots for quite a bit. I'm hoping you can hear me. Oh, give me a second to warm up my fingers. They are so numb. I just firm it in a little bit. So then I bury it as close as I can to the leaves. So hopefully you can see that. So that is one plant. I will do another. Again, assume that this is a <laughs> mature plant and you're taking a cutting. So you don't want to go too long, so I definitely don't want to do this whole piece here. You could, and I've seen people actually take all of this if you wanted to cut off all of these leaves. And then I've seen, oops, there's three one. You could put it in just a glass of water and then eventually it'll form roots. But like I said, right now I'm just putting it into a potty mix so I don't have to think about it as much because then once it forms roots then you do have to plant it up or plant it on. So right now again I'm just where I took off the leaves I'm just cutting right below a leaf node. Hmm. Snipped it right into my pot here and then I'm cutting off all of these leaves right here. I have quite a mess around my property with all the leaves I'm cutting off. I figure I'm going to be mowing soon and um, the lawnmower will just chop it all off. So that's it. And I mean, you could even take it as far as, oops, I'm going to here. Even give these a cut. 
Your plants will look really horrible for, I would say, about two weeks. At least that's what usually takes mine to start getting roots. And I mean, they, they do. They look horrible. Some of the leaves might fall off. They'll curl. They'll darken. You may or may not be successful. That's why I take a lot because I just, I figure if 50% make it, I'll be very happy. So I just pop it down. Be careful so you don't bend your stem. I have done that, so I had to retake it. And then just bury it, firm it just a little bit. I will be watering it in again after this. And then watering it will firm it some more. So now this is one of my salvias. I just took a great big cut here just to show you. And this is on the black and bloom. And so again, just assume that this is a mature plant. It's the easiest way I can do it since it's just me filming. And uh, I gotta film with one hand and <laughs> it's a little tricky and then cut with another. But what you're looking for is right here. Oh, I hope this is in view. And then just cutting below a leaf node like that. Maybe that's better. And then snipping off these leaves. And I'll snip these off too. I could probably just do a little bit more, clean it up some. And then same thing, just be careful not to bend your stem, or break it, and just bury it. If it was blooming, I would say go ahead, snip off a bloom. I did it right there. Selvias are new for me, so... Again, right there, snip. So like I said, and I mean, this is not great conditions when you're talking the 40s, so after I get done with this, I will be putting all of these inside my garage and hoping for the best. Normally when I take my cuttings, there is cold weather coming after, then I would just move them right into my house. But after today, warmer weather is moving in. So it's like, I will leave them outside as long as I can. Just, because you know, <laughs> my plant room is not quite set up yet. So there's that, and I'll just plant it in here. And then, um, I have done coleus in the past. Oops. There we go. And I have had great success. Again, when you bring coleus indoors, it doesn't quite need as much light. Now, salvias will be a first for me. So getting them to overwinter might be tricky, but hey, at least I'm trying. Worst case is I fail best case scenario is that it works out for me and I've got all of these free plants to have fun with next year. So I've got it buried up to here. I just firm it a little bit. Again, I will be watering. I kind of sound like a broken record. But so yeah, so basically same, I've been doing this with a lot of my plants. So just been cutting it just below a leaf node, trimming off as many leaves as I can, leaving some. And then potting it, or putting right into a planting mix. Sorry, I'm just warming up my hands. And um, like I said, it's, coleus is pretty easy. Selvia is, mm. So the other thing is, is I could, if I had have a lot of containers, you will see I will do a quick little tour. I could have done one more here. I could have taken it down here, then had one more cutting. So let me show you what I've been doing. Let me put the hood up on my raincoat here. One thing with your cuttings is you want to keep them well watered because they are forming roots and they definitely need the water for that. Uh, a lot of the trays that I have them in don't have drainage holes so I'll put just a little bit of water in the bottom so it keeps it evenly moist. Sorry for the car alarm, but um, I'll be putting in my garage when the weather gets a little bit warmer. What I'll do is I'll bring them outside and then what I do is I put a plastic bin over the top of them and then prop it up with maybe a piece of wood, just allow a little air in there, but that way it kind of, 
it's in like a little greenhouse setting. Unfortunately, I don't have a greenhouse. I wish I did. It would probably make this a bit easier. But hold on here, you're gonna be a bit wobbly. Sorry about that click. Step over my camera or my tripod. So yes, I've been a bit busy. I'm trying not to get my camera wet here either. So most of these are coleus. I have a lot of salvias. The reason being with the salvias is because um, I'm not sure how they're gonna work for me over the winter. So I took it of the purple one, the black and bloom, and then the fuchsia colored one. And then the rest I did some wandering jew. I've never done wandering jew before any of these begonias. I'm winging it. But as far as the coleus, I can tell you I've had great success. So hopefully this video helps you. These are geraniums here. I've never done geraniums. I've seen people take cuttings too and just put them in a glass of water and um, and they root for them. But unfortunately I don't have too many ledges to put stuff on inside my house. But yeah, these are all the trays that are going to have to go into my garage and then come back out. I'm not expecting all of these to work. I, like I said, I'll be happy if 50% of them work, but um, hey, it's worth a shot. So hopefully this inspires you to take some cuttings of your own and just at this point I would say try it with anything. Worst case, as it doesn't work. That's what I did. But yeah, nice rainy and gloomy day. Burr, that's all I can say. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and bye for now.